Hello everybody and welcome back to F1 Imperialism once again and we are doing every Formula One driver this year. This is going to be quite a fun one I have to say because there's going to be 20 of 20 of them, 20 drivers in this. And a lot of them are going to be starting in Europe. I'm going to put every every driver in their home country because why the heck not? So it's going to be a whole cluster up in Europe. There's going to be like Logan Sargent. Then we got like Lance Stroll in North America. Literally nobody's going to be in South America. So that's going to be up for the grabs. Nobody's going to be in Africa. We got Oscar Piastri who's going to be in Australia. But like I said, literally everybody, like the UK is going to be absolute cluster. So we're going to see what happens here. And I'm going to go spawn in all the nations right now. This is going to be a little crazy, but hey. You guys like F1 Imperialism? Thanks for the support on the most recent Imperialism video. Maybe I'll just do this uh, again and I'll put all the drivers around the world, see what happens there. But yeah, let's get right into this and put every driver in their home country. Okay, so now we have everybody completely spawned in. We have, you know, Piastri over here. He's in Australia. We got the Asian drivers. We got Albon. He, I put him in Thailand just so it's not super crowded up in the UK. Joe's in China. We got Yuki Sonoda in Japan. Every single European driver over here. There's a whole bunch of them. Then we got Lance Stroll in Canada. Logan Sargent up in Florida because that's where he's from. And then we got Sergio Perez in Mexico. So who will take over the world? Let's get this going. Leave your predictions in the comment section down below and let's get it let's do that i don't care let's continue without saving and let's start this here we go and uh, it's still paused play there we go we're going we are going already let's see how fast this goes i mean europe's gonna just be absolutely crazy so let's just start off looking at them there's already some wars russell was already destroyed by lando norris let george russell first one gone kevin magnuson and bottas form an alliance already this is interesting, to say the least. Albon and Piastri form an alliance. Look at this. Stroll and Hamilton form an alliance. Oh my goodness. Look at the size of Zhou Guang Yu. Verstappen joins the Stroll operation. Zhou and Yuki Tsunoda form an alliance. There's going to be a lot of alliances right now, let me tell you. Let's get the, the statistics going up over here. Nothing really... That is Hulkenberg and Charles Leclerc form an alliance. The, the Leclerc alliance is absolutely massive right now. Look at the size of Charles Leclerc. Carlos Sainz is taking over Africa right now. We have uh, Logan Sargent. Oh, Gasly has joined the Stroll operation. Doesn't look like much going on right now, but look at the size of Joe. Joe is massive. Perez and Alonso have formed an alliance. Max Verstappen was destroyed by Nico Hulkenberg. Verstappen is out of this game. It sucks for all the European teams, but that uh, that's how it is right now. Joe is absolutely killing it right now as he's taken over. Nothing has gone on just at the moment, but Norris has taken over Greenland, which is pretty cool. Science has drilled the Stroll Pact, which is quite interesting. Did not expect that. Science and Stroll are partnering together over here. Looks like the uh, Stroll Foundation. Leclerc is gone. Charles Leclerc is out of out as well he has been conquered by Esteban Ocon Lando Norris is conquered by Lewis Hamilton Hamilton is trying to take over uh the UK Ocon was destroyed by Gasly the French <laughs> the French are going after each other oh my goodness what is going on down here Nick DeVries has joined the Sergio Perez coalition interesting Piastri's just chilling over here Gasly supported Lance Stroll with some gold there's so many teams right now, uh, I don't even know where to keep up. <laughs> Hamilton is supported Stroll. Looks like Lance Stroll is carrying right now. Alonso was destroyed by signs. The Spaniards are now going at it. Look at that, Alonso's gone. All the top drivers, except Hamilton, are basically already out. That is actually kind of funny. So it looks like we're not going to have, it looks like we're going to have a new Formula One champion over here, unless Hamilton uh, has anything to say about it. But this is going on pretty fast. Hulkenberg has joined the operation with Albon. Let's put this on to two speed right now. Get this going. Gasly was destroyed by Hamilton. Gasly. No, they were both destroyed by Hulkenberg. Oh my goodness. Gasly and Hamilton were both destroyed by Nico Hulkenberg. He's going in. Look at Germany. He's basically representing all of Germany right now. Joe is still the biggest team. There's a whole bunch of supporting going on still. And Piastri, once again, still chilling in the corner. Looks like something's happening over here. Sergio Perez is being taken over by Logan Sargent. That could get quite interesting. No, no, it's not finished yet. They're not finished yet. Nick DeVries was destroyed by Nico Hulkenberg. Nico Hulkenberg's got like no land, but he's got so many kills already. Go on, Nico Hulkenberg. You look at look how many guys he's got. MVP of the of this simulation so far. Revolt. Leclerc was formed. Leclerc is back. And Leclerc joined Stroll's Alliance. How did Le Charles Leclerc's back in Formula One, everybody? Look at this. Look how tiny he is. But he is back. You got this, Charles Leclerc. I didn't know they can even come back. 
Briskville, new F1 driver over here, was formed out of Nico Hulkenberg. That is interesting. Don't know where they came, but look at the size of them. Briscoe's got 17 squares, Charles Leclerc's got 23, and then Joe's got like 13,000. Unbelievable. Look at the size of it. It's huge. Hulkenberg was destroyed by Leclerc. What a comeback from Charles Leclerc. Holy cow. Leclerc has established a core for 750 gold. Go on, Charles. Make the comeback. Sonoda supported Joe with some gold. Perez has joined the Kevin Magnuson Alliance right now. Sergeant supported Magnuson. Let's see, Perez is looking pretty, pretty much got the whole, like, left side of North America. Not bad for Perez there. Oh, someone just got destroyed. Lance Stroll has been destroyed by Logan Sargent. Looks like America has taken over Canada here. That's interesting. And Piastri, once again, still chilling in this corner, holding his own lines. Australia, a really good place to be, not gonna lie. But look at all these teams in the middle. Briskville is still hanging on in this area over here. Good for them. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. Bottas is, looks like it's falling a little bit, but it does have a lot of Greenland and Iceland taken over. Piastri joined the Order of Carlos Sainz. Interesting. Very, very interesting. There's a lot of gold sharing right now. All these countries are going crazy. Revolt. Mighty Var was formed out of Carlos Sainz. So Mighty Var, new Formula One driver here. Welcome to the squad. And Mighty Bar was destroyed by Carlos Sainz. Interesting. I guess Carlos Sainz was not having any of that. Magnussen was destroyed by Charles Leclerc. Charles Leclerc still going. Look at the Ferrari drivers taking over all of Europe right now. Bottas was destroyed by Sainz. Ferrari drivers are completely taking over right now as Paris tried to take over some of Charles Leclerc's land over there. That's a little interesting, isn't it? There's so much gold sharing right now. There's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight teams left, and Briskville is still one of them. I don't know how Briskville is doing this with 51 squares. This is quite interesting. Joe has so much land, and Joe is actually trying to take over Sonoda right now. Sonoda's basically just got the left or the right side of Asia just left. Joe's basically got all of Asia and like half of Europe, pretty much. Like Joe is ma absolutely massive. I mean, it was to be expected as Joe was the highest team in um, in Europe. Not Joe. Yeah, Joe was the highest team in uh, in Asia. Bristol still still hanging in there. We have a new team. Revolt in Charles Leclerc's area and uh, Barnin was formed. Welcome to the Formula One grid, Barnin. One square of Barnin left. Oh, Leclerc and Sainz are supporting each other. Look at them go over there. Barnin, one literal square. Oh, we have so many revolts. Two more revolts. We got... Storm Dow and Luja are coming in, but Leclerc is still supporting Carlos Sainz. There's so many revolts popping up here, so many F1 drivers, and Joe looks like it's falling. Perez, Perez supported Sergeant, Perez supported Joe. Perez is just the absolute support character right here. Look at the size of Starmadu, and Starmadu is gone. That was fast. It's Carlos Sainz is having absolutely none of it. Briskville still hanging on, MVP right there. Barman was destroyed by Charles Leclerc, Barman's gone. Luigi was supported by Briskville. They're gone. Someone else just left. Kevin Magnuson was back, and then he got destroyed instantly. Wow. Left after one year, and Joe has fallen. And who is Hathnock? Joe is beaten by Sonoda. Hathnock is formed. Hathnock is... They're there. Briskville's still hanging on. I can't believe Joe fell. Carlos signs the biggest landmass right now. Carlos Sainz is absolutely massive. And we still have Oscar Piastri chilling in this corner over here. Good for Oscar Piastri. Looks like they're aligned with Briskville. Uh, what are the alliance maps right now? Max Area H. Alliances. We got the Order of Carlos Sainz, who is um, just Carlos Sainz, and then the Operation of Logan Sarge, and basically America right there. There's so much going on right now. We have a new team. Joss Keep or Joss Keep taking over a little bit of Carlos Sainz's land in Africa right over there. I'm loving all these new Formula 1 drivers popping up. We have Carlos Sainz, Yuki Sonoda, Logan Sargent, the three superpowers. I guess you can include Perez and Piastri in there. Then we have Leclerc, Heth Falk, I don't know who they are. New Formula 1 driver, Briskville still hanging on. And Joss Keeper, Joss Keep. Perez has united in it to Sargent. And Carlos Sainz looks like it's falling to Sonoda right now. Carlos Sainz, ooh, that was a big hit that Yuki Sonoda had went into there. But look at Logan Sargent took over Paris. Paris is gone. Logan Sargent has half of the, basically all of the Americas and Greenland right now. Charles Leclerc still hanging on. Now that's quite interesting. What will happen here? Can Logan Sargent and the, basically it was just Florida. You never, don't mess with Florida guys, let me tell you. Do not mess with Florida, but this is interesting. Piastri, once again, still chilling in his corner, trying to take over Madagascar. He's got New Zealand, got a little bit of these, like, Asian countries over here. But this is a little interesting. Oh, we have Carlos Sainz. Heth Falk is interrupting Carlos Sainz. Sainz might fall over here. It's getting very close. Is Sainz going to fall to Heth Falk? They might, but Carlos Sainz is trying to bounce back, and they are trying to take over. So, okay, Sonoda supports Sarge. We got Briskville supporting Sainz. Briskville is still hanging on here, guys. This is intense. I don't know how Charles Leclerc still managed to come in this after they came out of literal nowhere. 
like after being taken over. Briskville supported signs. Piastri is now supporting signs. Look at Australia. Good for Piastri in Australia. Just chilling. Hellfolk is gone. They were destroyed by Carlos Sainz. It looks like Carlos Sainz probably has a leg up on everywhere as they are in the center of the world. And now Carlos Sainz is taking over North and South America. Basically almost got a, all of South America already. Carlos Sainz looking like an absolute superpower in this. Both Ferrari drivers are still in this, which is quite surprising. And we have the 2023 Formula One rookie Oscar Piastri still hanging in there. And of course, the legend of Briskville. You love to see it. I absolutely love Briskville. Look at Leclerc and Sainz supporting each other. That's what Ferrari drivers do. I swear I did not rig this guys I promise you that I promise you that and look at this Florida oh not Florida Carlos Sainz is taking over Sargent but Sargent has a base right smack down in the middle of the USA can Carlos Sainz take over they don't look how close it is I'm gonna zoom in on this oh they're done they got it Carlos Sainz I am why is my mouse doing that Carlos Sainz took over has taken over Sargent. Look at the landmass that Carlos Sainz has. Is it going to be down to Sainz? It is down to Sainz, Sonoda, Piastri, Leclerc, and Briskville still hanging on over here. Let's throw this onto three speed, the fastest it can possibly go. But I don't see anybody stopping Carlos Sainz right now, unless some other team like Lewis Hamilton or Max Verstappen pops back up. But I, I highly doubt that. There, look at the look at this world map. We still got Piastri chilling in the corner over there, but Leclerc and Sainz look like an absolute superpower. Order of signs. The signs order is absolutely massive. Look at the teams that, look at the teams that they have. Alonzo, Mighty Work, Bottas, Somerdu, Yaskeep, Hellfolk, two Logan Sargents. Absolutely unbelievable performance by Carlos Sainz today. Unbelievable performance. Sonoda still chilling on in the uh, right side of Asia. But looks like Carlos Sainz probably going to take over. But I once again, got to reiterate, Briskville, the complete MVP of this conflict over here. Did not expect Briskville. And Carlos Sainz has united, or sorry, Charles Leclerc has united into Carlos Sainz. They've been teammates for so long. Looks like Carlos Sainz is taking over Sonoda. And Carlos Sainz has taken over Sonoda, the Spanish Revolution. Look at this. And Briskville has united into Carlos Sainz. And Carlos Sainz has united into Oscar Piastri. And it's over. It is finished. Carlos Sainz has taken over the world. I'm sure all you Sainz Tandare or Santander absolutely going to love this. Carlos Sainz takes over the world in this simulation. And they didn't even fight. They just united everybody. So everybody's under the world of Carlos Sainz. If you guys did enjoy and you want to see this with team, with team principles, let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.